I'm going to talk about how to divide a whole number by a fraction and how to divide a fraction by a whole number. Now we're not going to do it numerically today, even though do, dividing fractions numerically is very, very easy. For, because I want to, I want students to be able to understand what it means to divide a whole number by a fraction or a fraction by a whole number. I want them to be able to visualize what that means. <clears throat> because math doesn't, doesn't, isn't uh, useful unless it means something. And um, if they have a, if there's a story problem that requires you to divide a whole number and a fraction, you're only going to be able to do it if you understand what that means to, to divide a whole number and a fraction, if you understand what is happening when you do that. <clears throat> so I'm going to go over some examples. Um, this is very similar to the homework. They give you all the diagrams. You don't have to make any yourself. This is just illustrating um, division of whole numbers and fractions. So the first one is 3 divided by 1 third. Now that can be viewed um, with fraction strips. Um, here's three wholes, so that's three. And then when I divide a whole number by a fraction, what we're saying is, in, in this case specifically, what we're saying is I have three of something, and I'm going to cut each one of those into thirds. And so how many am I going to have total when I'm done? So let's think about this as like three cakes. This is a cake, this is a cake, this is a cake. And they're kind of small cakes, so one serving is going to be one third of that cake. So I cut each one into thirds. So each one has three pieces. So I want to know how many pieces I'm going to have. That's what the answer to 3 divided by 1 third is going to be. That's what 3 divided by 1 third means. So this has 3, this has 3, this has 3. If I add them up, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 3 divided by 3 is 9. Now if I want to check my answer, um, just keep, just remember that division is just backwards multiplication. So I could take my answer, 9, um, multiply it by 1 third, and I should get 3. So 9 times 1 third equals 9 over 1 times 1 over 3 equals 9 over 3. I divide the top and bottom by 3, and I get 3 over 1, which equals 3. So it does equal 3. So 9 is the correct answer. Number 2 is, is kind of a similar, it's kind of a similar uh, problem. This is 3 divided by 1 sixth. So let's say I have 3 of something. Let's say 3 pies this time. I have 3 pies. This is 1 pie, this is 2 pies, this is 3 pies. And I'm going to divide each one into sixths. That's what 3 divided by sixths means. So this is going to be... So notice that there's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces in each pie. This is one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, six six. And this is seven six because I have more than one pie. So I'm just going to keep counting the total six that I have. Ten six, eleven six, twelve six, thirteen six, fourteen six, fifteen six. 16 sixths, 17 sixths, and 18 sixths. Now you don't have to do all this, I'm just doing it to illustrate a point. These are, this is a total number of sixths that I have, and if I count them up, I get 18 sixths in those three pies. I can feed 18 people with these three pies if I cut them into six pieces each, in other words. So my answer, three divided by one sixth is 18. And let me check my answer. 18, um, so I, I just multiply 18 times 1 6, I should get 3. So 18 times 1 6 is 18 over 1 times 1 over 6. Can't see that. 18 over 1 times 1 over 6 equals 18 over 6. I can simplify that. I divide the top and bottom by 2. I get 9 over 3. Do I? Yes, I do. I divide the top and bottom by 3, and I get 3 over 1, which is equal to 3. So 18 times 1 over 6 is 3. So this is correct. 
So now I have something a little bit different. This is a different type of problem. This is a fraction divided by a whole number. These are a whole number divided by a fraction. This is a fraction divided by a whole number. You handle this differently when you're doing it visually. <clears throat> so what we're saying, so this is one fourth divided by two. So basically what we're saying is instead of starting with more than one of something, we're starting with less than one of something. Let's say we have one fourth of a, I use food a lot, but um, one fourth of a loaf of banana bread. One fourth of a loaf of banana bread. And I wanna divide it among two people. So what fraction of that banana bread is each person gonna get? <clears throat> you can find this using fraction strips, but on the homework, they, they, they do the fraction strips for you. So you don't have to figure out what these are down here, but this models it very well. This is my one fourth of a, of a banana bread right here. One fourth of a loaf of banana bread. And if I cut that in half, each piece is going to be one eighth of a loaf. Okay, so each of my two people who are sharing my one-fourth of a loaf of banana bread are gonna get one-eighth of a loaf, okay? If they get more than one-eighth of a loaf each, somebody's gonna get more than the other one. If I have less than one-eighth of a loaf each, then they're both gonna get an equal amount, but there's gonna be some left. <clears throat> they wanna eat the whole thing, all this one-fourth of a loaf that's left. And so they each get one-eighth. Now let's check that. One-eighth times two should equal to one-fourth, one over eight, times two over one equals two over eight. Divide the top and bottom by two and I get one over four, okay?